All right, so everyone wants extra cash. Me too. And the get-rich-quick <laughs> schemes are tapping heavily into this. But are these sweet deals really sour in disguise? Communications and International Relations Manager with FSC, David Geddes, is here. Good morning, sir. Welcome to Smile Jamaica. Good morning. Pleasure to be here again. Good to see you, Mr. Geddes. First Gettys. thing, um, and there's a, a specific name that was in the newspaper, Loom. First thing. Is that legal to do what we are hearing that Loomi is doing? Okay, let, let me answer it this way. Any company or individual that offers any investment to the public without a license from the FSC and without themselves being registered with the FSC, so the product and the, um, the product, the entity and the person ought to be licensed by the FSC, they would be breaching the Securities Act. So from what we have heard, it would not appear that um, this company or this organization or this group of individuals are, have any license and, but do seem to be promoting investments. Which means, and this is my word, they're illegal. Well, as you said, those are your words, right. yes. Um, so yeah. my next question, just to back that up, can you shut them down? Can the FSC shut Most them down? Most definitely. We have, and you know, coming on the heels of, I mean, you know, the recent schemes that we had. Right. I, mean, I mean, it's very worrying for us that, I mean, persons are taking their hard-earned money and investing in these. They, I mean, there's no brick and mortar. There's no place where that, I mean, they operate from, except maybe on social media to a large extent. They're targeting youngsters, um, high school students, tertiary students. We have a concern with that. They're, those persons are particularly vulnerable. But even as adults like you and I, um, we sometimes get caught up in the need, you know, and the fantasy, and we need to, and we need to make sure that we differentiate. So I'm really urging Jamaicans now not to let us have another catastrophe in the economy as we had with two earlier schemes, which cost the country billions of dollars. We really want to protect persons, that's one of our mandates. We must protect and educate the Jamaican citizenry. And one of the best ways to do that is through um, education. So we need persons to understand that insurance companies operating have to be licensed and registered by the FSC. The securities dealers, the stock exchange, licensed by the FSC. The private pensions industries, licensed and registered by the FSC. We do what's known as fit and proper assessment of the persons in these industries to make sure that they have the right moral aptitude to, um, to handle your money. So we do not want just these fly-by-night operations coming in, taking your money, and then down the road, you know, I mean, I can guarantee you that it might, you might get some money, some returns. No, and that looks good. Invest 5,000, get 20. But you're involved in illegal activity. One, you're breaching the Securities Act. Two, you don't know where that money is really going to and what it's been funneled mm -hmm. to, whether terrorism or whatever other um, activities that they undertake. And at the end of the day, it's going to come to a painful crash. Because as the scheme matures, you're going to find fewer persons coming in. And once any investment is predicated on bringing in new persons, then that's destined to fail at some okay. point. Let me come in um, yes. there, Mr. Getty. So you, you, just for our viewers, we keep talking about these previous schemes. And you may not know, not everybody, maybe young people didn't know about Olint. Olint was one of them. And there was another Cash one, Cash, Cash Plus, Plus yes. Olint. And the new one, which the young people are telling me about, which you, we made mention, is Loom, where you have to bring in people, you get your birthday, you get the money, and then you, you move up. So it's a pyramid scheme, um, get rich quick, as we said. So you mentioned about being registered with the Financial Services Commission. What does it take to be registered? Who can register? How do these things become legal? Well, well first of all, in order to register the FSC, mm -hmm. you would first need to have a product that is approved. We have analysts in the different um, departments, securities mm -hmm. department, insurance department, the private pensions department, the registry. So we assess and that any product that's going to be offered. So even if, let's look at, say, an insurance company offering a new product on the market. Mm -hmm. 
that product would have come to the FSC first, even though the entity is licensed. But before they offer the new product, we would have had the chance to review it. Mm. You, you don't want a situation where you go to the pharmacy and we with a health card and you swipe, 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 nothing, 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 mm. because there, is, there are no funds to cover that transaction. We ensure that the, that the products and services being provided to mm. the public you know, to have some substance to it. Okay, so we would, we, your analysts would review and then we would, um, they would then be registered. Now the next question is, we keep talking about the Securities Act and we, I don't know, is it illegal? You, you haven't said yes yeah. or no, but people doing the loom, for example, I'm sure you're probably investigating because it's hot on the market right now, but what happens under the Securities Act? Under the Securities Act, it is, it is illegal okay. to offer any product that has not been licensed by okay. the Financial Services okay. Commission as an investment mm -hmm. and to state that you'll be getting returns on it. Okay. Also, the persons who offer advice mm -hmm. have to be licensed by the FSC. FSC. Is One it more illegal thing. for me to give them money? Ooh. If they are illegal? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think, I think that, would be, that would be more a question for, for, the, um, for the attorneys. Yeah. Yes. Um, but, but as far as we, you know, that, that the person who um, put in that money couldn't... I'm just asking for, for you. I am, I'm not going to offer legal advice on that. I wouldn't mm -hmm. put my money in, and we are strongly encouraging persons not to invest their money in it okay. because you don't know where that money is going to. You could yeah. very well be financing mm -hmm. yeah. terrorist organizations. What about partner? I mean, this is just... I have to bring it up because enough yeah. of the viewers, the partner thing in Jamaica, that's how a lot of people survive. Yes. And because they can't do it the other way. Do you understand? Well, let, me, let me address and that I'm wondering, quickly. Pardon, and yes. Okay, first yeah. of all, um, I'm not really a big fan of partners, but that's okay. my um, okay. own position. Uh -huh. But the partner scheme, as we know it usually, would not be breaching the Securities Act. Uh -huh. One, because it's really not an investment that you're getting a return on. In fact, in most partners, if you throw $100 a hand for 12 months and then you get your draw, mm -hmm. it's really $1,100 you are getting because the banker takes one hand. So you're getting less than what you're putting in, and you're going into that knowing that you're yeah. going into mm -hmm. that situation. Mm -hmm. If they were offering any product that would have given you returns on it, then yes, I would say it would be breaching the okay. securities. Act. Okay, final question from me. Um, and I don't know if this is the reason you haven't shut them down, because I think you said they don't have a physical space, as far as you know. Is that the reason why you haven't shut them down, if it's no, illegal? No, no, no. Our, our uh, investigations division is looking in to um, the activities. And what I, what I imagine would happen um, is that usually a cease and desist order would be issued. But investigations have to be done first, and you have to find, um, you find someone who, who um, is oh, in the organization right. of it, and so. But oh, we have a very, very, um, a very efficient I need um, enforcement, yep. investigation enforcement division yep. that, you know, um, looks into these matters and monitors everything that comes up on the radar that could be breaching the Securities yep. Act, Insurance Act, or private pension. regulations. I did regulations. say final question, but um, right now it seems like they're illegal. What if they come in now? Can they be in trouble for what they have already done? What if they come in and say well, that? Well, first of all, I do, uh, first of all I, uh, their business model could not pass any... <laughs> any, um, any assessment. Right. I mean, right. It, no, anything that's based on just bringing in people is not an investment. No, no, I, I right. accept so that. So they couldn't come in. But what if they got licensed. themselves licensed? But I'm just saying that they couldn't. He's saying it you probably couldn't, wouldn't you, pass. That is not a business model that could pass, I mean, any form of test whatsoever, assessment. It's just not feasible. It's not sustainable. Uh, right, one, uh, Neville, you finished with your last question? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got your answer. Yeah, I have one more for you, sir. Tell us really and truly the role of the FSC in Jamaica and what's happening internationally with the FSC Jamaicans. Where are we? What's okay. happening in your role? Okay, thank you. The Financial Services Commission, their, our mandate is to ensure that uh, consumers of financial products mm -hmm. are protected. Okay. Now, in doing that, one of the critical tools that we utilize is education. Mm -hmm. So we 
We spend a lot of money um, conducting public education initiatives. We also have a school's financial education program so that the next generation will be coming up financially literate. We want to make sure that persons understand that get rich schemes like these, that's not where your money should be going. The stock exchange is where your money should be going. Opening an account with the different brokers, um, getting insurance for your assets, retirement planning, critical retirement planning, invest now, plan for the future. Those are the things that we are pushing and we're also pushing knowledge. Yeah. You, have to, you have to have knowledge. It's power. Right. Thanks Thank for you coming, so sir. Much. Good to Thank see you. Thank you so much to be here again. Good Always a pleasure. Communication and International Relations Manager with the FSC, Mr. David Geddes. I'm, I was going to ask him if you could give me a little tip as to what I should invest in next and with who. <laughs> <laughs>